Hi, and welcome to part six of my Python programming for beginners tutorial series. In the last video, uh, we went over the nested ifs, and the video before that, we went over some ifs statements. Uh, and then we've also seen conditional statements in the past. So today we're going to take a look at uh, different types of loops. There's two different types of loops in Python. There's the for loop and the while loop. I'll go over some differences of those two when we look at them. Um, the while loop will use some conditional uh, statements similar to the if statements. Uh, so we'll see that and we will be using a combination of loops and ifs in this video. So if you haven't seen those videos, I would definitely uh, go ahead and look at those. Uh, they are in this playlist as well. All right, so let's get started here. So uh, first we're gonna take a look at the for loops. Uh, so for loops are really used to execute code X amount of times. So if you know exactly how many times you wanna um, execute a code block for, you would use a for loop. Uh, so a for loop here is just written with the keyword for, and then you'll have a variable here. We're just gonna use X for this example. And then we're gonna do in range of zero to 10. So basically what this does, this says for every X in range zero to 10. So basically for X in zero to 10, so it'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, and the reason why it stops at 9 and not 10, uh, because this checks for lesser than 10. 10. Uh, so if you want it to execute till number 10, uh, you would have to put this to 11. So we're just going to put it to 10 for now. Um, and let's go ahead and let's just do a print x here. And this is going to, we're just going to run this here. Uh, so basically here we see exactly kind of what I uh, mentioned earlier. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, and if we wanted uh, 10 here, uh, we can do 11. And then we will get 0 through 10. So let's say um, you wanted to go up by 2 instead of by 1. Uh, so right here in the range, uh, it actually takes three arguments. So the first argument is going to be your starting uh, number. Um, your second one is going to be your ending or less than number. And then you have a third parameter, which is actually the step. Um, so what's that going to do is we can do a step of two. And what that means, it's going to take, instead of incrementing by one, which is the default, it's going to increment by two. So in here, this is going to show us zero, two, four, six, eight, and 10, because we're including 10 now. Um, so here we are, zero, two, four, six, eight, and 10. Uh, so that's perfect. So basically what happens here is every time that this loop runs, it increments the x value by this step counter. So that's kind of what it does. So basically what you could kind of see is you would have this x equals x plus step here and step being this value here. So that would kind of be what you'd look at in terms of a code uh, example here. Um, so we're just going to take this out here and you could do any type of increments. You could do increments of, uh, let's say, three. And we're going to get 0, 3, 6, 9. Um, so this, these are very useful, again, if you know exactly how many iterations you want to iterate through. Um, there are other types of for loops, but we're not going to get into those today, uh, just because they involve uh, lists. Um, and we haven't seen lists yet, so I don't want to get into those. But when we do look at lists, we will also see how to use a for loop to iterate through items in a list. Uh, so the other type of loop, uh, like I mentioned, is a, a while loop. Um, so basically a while loop, unlike a for loop, runs for an undetermined amount of time as long as the condition inside of the while loop is set to true. Uh, so basically what we have here is we have a while and then we have a condition, uh, just like we've seen in the if statements. And then we'll have a colon, and then we will have a set of block, uh, like a code block here, that will execute. So 
if we do here, uh, let's set up a variable called run, and we're going to set this to true uh, because we know if the condition is true, it will run. So if we do while run, so this basically is a while true statement. Now you have to be careful with these statements when you have a while true um, or while a condition. If that condition never goes to false, you will hit an infinite loop. Um, in which case you can break out of it using the break keyword or assigning this variable to false um, as long as you code that in your code block. Uh, so what we'll do here is I'm actually going to do a little example, kind of like a menu, so like a text-based menu um, that's prompting you to either enter like a, a, a letter to choose an option in a menu. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do a print statement. And we're just going to do a print here. And we're going to do um, select an option. And we're just going to put two options here. We're going to put A for uh, print hello. And then we're going to put an option B. Um, and the option B is going to be exit here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a variable here called choice. And we're going to set that to input. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a if statement in here, uh, like we've seen in the last video here. So we're going to do if choice is equal to A. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the capital A here. And we're going to enter this if statement. And we're going to do print hello, because that's what we said it's going to do. That's awesome. And then we are going to have an LF statement. And then we're going to have a choice. And then we're going to make that check if it's equal to B. And then if it is, we are going to set the run uh, to false. And then else, if it's anything else here, we're going to do a print statement. And we're going to say, try again, invalid input. All right, so just a quick explanation of this code here. So we have a run variable that is going to be set to true. And we say while the run variable is set to true, um, we are going to print a option that says select an option, either A or B. A will print hello, and B will exit. And then we grab a user input and put it into the choice variable. Then we check if that choice variable is equal to A. If it is, we print out hello. Otherwise, if it's equal to B, then we set run to false. And then if it's not A or B, then we say to the user, in a try again, invalid input, and it will return to the top of the loop. So let's go ahead and let's actually see this in action here. Um, so we have select an option A or B. So let's go and let's type in capital A. We get hello. Uh, let's try uh, lowercase a. And we get try again, invalid input. So that's not really good. Um, and then we're going to type in B. Again, we're because it's a lowercase b, we're getting the invalid input. So let's put in a capital B here. And that exits out. So um, we can see that the program has completely exited out here. So what we need to do here um, in order, because like we know that the Python is case sensitive. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that the input is always going to, because we were checking for uppercase. So we always want to convert this, um, these uh, inputs to uppercase. So input actually has a method here, and we could put in upper. And let's go ahead and let's try this again. All right, and let's put in a lowercase a, we get hello, a lowercase b, we get exit. Let's just try it again here, and let's put in some invalid inputs here. So let's put in 9, get invalid input, p, get invalid input. So let's exit out here. So that's perfect. So here we see that it exits out of the loop because we set the run variable to false. Now, if we didn't have this, we'd have an infinite loop. But we can also use the keyword break. What break means, it will break out of the um, that block of code. Um, so if you have a while loop, it will break out of that while loop. So if we um, try this here, uh, let's do A again. We see that we get hello. If we do B, 
it still exits out of the code. So you do have multiple ways of exiting out of a loop, especially if you're doing a while true here. I always prefer to make sure to set your variable to false. Um, it's just probably a better practice in my opinion. And this way you will know exactly if you ever exit out of this loop, you would know that this run variable is set to false. Uh, so if you ever uh, reference it somewhere else in your code, um, you will be knowing what to expect from it. Uh, and that's pretty much it for loops in Python. Like I said, there's still the other loop uh, to iterate through lists, um, but we're going to be seeing that in another video. Uh, in the next video, I'll be going over chained conditional statements. Uh, so basically what that kind of means, it means we're going to be looking at if uh, statements um, or while loops, anything that takes conditions, and we're going to be combining multiple conditions together. Uh, so that could kind of simplify our nested if statements from our last video. Uh, so we'll see that on the next video. So make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, to be notified when that video comes out. And I will see you on the next video.